When I was 11, I was introduced to a women's team. Playing women's football in South Africa back then was not so popular or what it is today. And it always took me back to playing with the boys. Even now, when I'm back, the first people that want to see me or play with me is the little guys like, hey, do you have a ball? Can we go play? And for me, that is something that has always you know, made me fall in love with the game. I'm Tembi Khatlana. I'm a forward for Racing Louisville, and I am a game changer. When you are young, you, you don't say, I want to be a professional footballer. I think the different thing that I brought was that I could play football and I was a girl. So I think my guy friends were like really amazed that I can play and I was even way better than some of the guys. When I started, it was like very limited. I think the last 10 to 15 years have been way better because now we have more senior team matches for women played on television. It is more accessible now for a young girl to start saying, I want to be a professional footballer because they see us playing week in, week out, every single time. If I didn't have that step of playing with the guys and actually them giving me a platform, I don't think I would have made it this far. I think she's a great player. She's really fantastic. Having her foundation and being a good role model to young athletes that are trying to uh, get in, in the sports, I think it's huge. I have a foundation called Tembi Khatana Foundation and it was founded in 2016 and we've been operating since then. The idea of, of starting my foundation, I wanted to tackle the issues of gender inequality to empower women through sports by, by playing soccer. We want to bring opportunities to these girls so that they can be able to have a better way of saying I want to do this or I don't want to do this and challenge the people in within the communities to come out to the tournament to watch the girls because some of those girls are their children to support them and also help the community understand women's sports and women's football better. Soccer is number one sports in Africa. It's grown over the years and I think people have done really well, you know, when it comes to investments, when it comes to like supports from all over the place, I think it's grown even bigger. It's not every day that you get to wake up and represent your country. And now that women's football is growing, there's a lot of girls that are looking for opportunities to wear the national jersey. So for me, it's about the pride of having to wear that jersey, but also remembering all the millions of people that I am representing from South Africa. When I first moved to the US to play in the NWSL, it was tough for me because there was a huge transition between playing in South Africa and playing in the NWSL. When I got injured, I had just signed with Louisville three days earlier. It was a very difficult moment in my whole career. My injury was a complete tear of the Achilles tendon. When it happened, I didn't know what it was, but I knew that it was something bad because I thought I could stand up, but I had no control of, you know, of standing up. It was during the match and I could see the changes of faces in my teammates, you know, and I knew that they were really worried. I still, you know, supported the team from behind and reminded them of the goal that we had, which was to win the Africa Cup of Nations. Even though I got injured, I still felt like, you know, Having that medal around my neck means so much and it gave me even a reminder that I only don't have Louisville to come back to but I also have potentially playing in a big tournament for South Africa. Being at home and being relaxed really helped me, reminded me of who I am and what I can achieve. It was very uncertain but Louisville showed that they want me to be here. I went to the World Cup held South Africa. I won the Africa Player of the Year in 2018, the best goal in 2018, the top scorer in 2018 signed for the biggest clubs in the world. I've been to many continents. But I think the biggest that I think I've achieved for myself currently is coming back from this injury. She launched her book and I'm really excited for her and the people that she's been impacting with that as well. The title of my children's book is Girls Don't Do That. This was one sentence that really made me to actually pursue to be a professional footballer. A lot of girls when I was growing up didn't want me to play soccer. Girls don't do that, they don't play soccer, don't do that, you know. So for me I was like, what do you mean girls don't do that? Because I am a girl and I am doing it. Girls can do anything. If I was young and someone gave me a book like my children's book, I think I would have made better choices. I would have 
been in you know better spaces and that is why we have the book in five different languages to allow the children to start dreaming in their own language we want the little ones to start dreaming i do not live my own life for myself i live it in a way that other people are looking at me there are other people in life that have opportunities compared to other people and for me being a game changer means that at what level are you getting these opportunities and when you get them what idea do you have of becoming a better player i grew up from south africa i had to work hard for my opportunities i had to leave home i had to move to different countries for me to get an opportunity but today there are girls and children everywhere in the world who can just watch me on tv and say hey i want to be like tembi and that for me is a game changer